Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is your man, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. Now, we're going to go ahead and drop out my man, Steph Curry. And um, Steph Curry, man, he has a really, really good special place in my heart. Um, I feel like, you know, he is definitely um, arguably the face of the NBA. The NBA. The NBA. And um, I have a really good history with Steph Curry. So, if you know, I'm from North Carolina. And um, I actually was a pretty good basketball player. Um, so, um, I was one of the top 50 basketball players in the state of North Carolina when I was coming out. And believe it or not, his dad, Dale Curry, was my coach when um, I was playing with my uh, travel team. And um, so, I had a really good relationship with Steph. So, I knew Steph um, playing ball um, during the summer. So, like, Steph was just two years younger than me. You know what I'm saying? At the time. So, um, and... It was just pretty dope to see, like, yo, Steph Curry back then when he was, like, literally when um, he was probably, like, 16. He was, jeez, man. He was probably, like, oh, my God, like, five foot eight. <laughs> but he could shoot it, man. He could shoot it. He could shoot it. He could definitely shoot it. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just it's dope to see where he, what, what, has, what he's become. I would never have thought that, to be honest with you. I never thought that. And to be honest with you, I don't think his dad ever did. I don't think anybody did that. You know, um, that that was, I mean, I just, you know, it's just tough. It's just tough to, to envision someone that small um, growing to actually be 6'3", which is my height, and um, coming out to be what he became. And now he is the most lethal shooter of all time. He is, he literally has single-handedly changed the NBA. Um, you just can't think, a unanimous MVP. Um, the list goes on and on, so... Of course, you know I had to drop this 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 video, um, just out of pure respect, you know. You know what I'm saying? For my boy, I even went to one of his games at in Davidson when he was at Davidson. You know what I'm saying? Um, do I talk to him now? Nah, <laughs> I don't talk to him now, man. But he'll definitely know. He, he I mean, obviously he knows me. You know what I'm saying? If you saw me, like, yo, what's up? What's up? So you know what I mean? That type of deal. But um, it was dope. It was a dope summer. Um, his pops is cool. But anyway, that's that's just a little backstory of me. I mean, obviously. I did more than just baseball. I was a, uh, I think, you know, I was a pretty good athlete. I, you know, but I don't really like talk much about myself like that. But, um, yeah. So, anywho, Steph Curry. All right. So, as we're going to go ahead and see, he's hurt, right? So, again, when he's hurt, it messes everything up, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. And the reason why I have been reluctant to even make this build is because now that his attributes is all messed up you do not get to compare to Steph Curry so like no matter what I do I can't get compared to Steph Curry because look at Steph Curry's numbers I'm not going to make Steph Curry's numbers like this so I can make an offensive threat I just can't get compared to Steph Curry which of course is so easy to get compared to Steph Curry so to not even have that because he's hurt I held off and I'm like yo like when is when is he coming back like then it's just like man you know it's just not going to happen so I'm just going to have to be stuck with just you know, making the build to the best of my ability, making an offensive threat, that's Steph Curry. And then in exchange, it's just not going to stay similar to because obviously it's not going to stay similar to Steph Curry because look at the numbers. So, I mean, like the numbers that they're going, the people that can get me similar to are just people that are just not in his league for obvious reasons. Um, I mean, I'm, when I do an offense, I mean, if I was to do this, it would be similar to, you know, if I made a build that had 89-3 and 82 mid-range shot, blah, 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 it's just not going to be um, Steph Curry, right? It's not going to do that. Um, and then um, when I do, I mean, I mean, it would be Steph Curry. I'm sorry. It would be Steph Curry. I'm all over the place right now. So hope y'all can understand. If I make these attributes that I see right now, it will say similar to Steph Curry, but I'm not going to make that Steph Curry. I'm going to make the 95 overall, the one that has, you know, obviously a 99 three-point shot and, you know, that type of deal. So... I'm going to be very creative with this one, guys. So hopefully y'all appreciate that. There's no need to even look at all these attributes because, I mean, you know what Steph Curry is. He can shoot lights out. His ball handling is off the chart. The only thing his weakness is his defense. I mean, like, that's just is what it is. He has 75 defense, though, so we'll, we'll take that. Um, and then um, other than that, there's not really much you can really expect from Steph Curry on a de defensive end. Um, and, oh, my gosh, man. Like, he was so abused. Um, the year they went to the, the LeBron James... And the Cavs just completely tried to abuse him over and over again defensively. I mean, it was painful just to see the picks that they used to set to make sure Steph Curry was on LeBron James. I'd be like, damn, like, fight, Steph. Like, why are you just going to let them switch like that? <laughs> like, it was crazy. But anywho, um, so, yeah, this is where things is going to be. All right, so 
he has three strong um pie charts that you can really go off of and look at this three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one uh twenty three twenty four so he has twenty four badge attributes on finishing like really like come on man like that's just ridiculous all right and then of course shooting is off the chart so you can just basically just go ahead and count him that every single thing you want he has like he has every single shooting badge man every single one of them right but do you want to know he's one of the few people that actually has quick draw like right you remember how i make the videos and i'm like yo they don't have quick draw he actually has quick draw so uh go wow go figure he has quick draw um and then oops and then for playmaking um i was actually surprised that he didn't have hall of fame um any hall of fame badges um i thought like maybe handles for days so just for him to have this many gold badges is, is pretty ridiculous in itself so um to have those gold badges is pretty dope and then um his defensive rebounding badges so as you can see here um he has lightning reflexes Woo! watch out now why hey watch out watch out he's quick <laughs> and he has interceptor okay that's what's up but obviously you know there's not much debate here we're going to use these two pie charts there's no need i mean that's that's not even a question we're going to use these two pie charts we're going to be very creative on trying to get the finishing um badges and i'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that it's gonna be pretty dope um but yeah so let's go ahead and head over to my favorite um place of this on this 2k game um that's my my player builder and let's go ahead and build this steph curry all right so of course you know steph curry is a point guard he's right-handed uh he's number 30 um that's pretty much self-explanatory um we're gonna go with this shooting um, and dribbling pie chart. Um, the only other chart that you can really do is go here, uh, which is pretty dope. Um, to be honest with you, low key, you could make this big pie chart here and become a, um, what is it, a sharp shooting facilitator and really, really can be similar to Steph Curry. The only problem is your ball handling won't be the greatest, but you could speed boost. Eventually you could speed boost with this build, but I just don't think it's just not Steph Curry enough. And, um, it's unfortunate because Steph Curry would literally be this full pie chart and this full pie chart. 95 ball handling and 95 three-point shooting, <laughs> like real talk, right? Which would give you potential for 99 of both. Um, but we're going to go with this one to split the difference because that's just how it is in 2K. You can't just make like a superstar. You have to make something similar to, which is why they have the similar to screen, right? And um, so this is what we're going to go with. Okay, now here. This is where things can be a little tricky. Um, to me, I know I like to go with the vert, um, but I just rather go with just a straight speed here. Steph's not known for jumping. I mean, he rarely dunks. He probably has like 10 dunks in his whole career, less than that maybe. Um, so let's just go with the speed because that's what he's going to be really known for. He's extremely quick and his acceleration is dope. He is basically a slasher in a nutshell. And a lot of people don't understand that. Like Steph goes to the basket a lot. Um, so he is a slasher. So that's why he has, like I said, 33 finishing badges. He gets to the rack a lot. Um, he goes to the free throw line a lot and he shoots a ton of threes. He's just a very special player. My, my God, like, I, I don't think you could ever make, a, I, I, is there going to be another Steph Curry? Like, you know, a lot of people say, is there going to be another LeBron James and Mike Dr Would there be another Steph Curry? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Shooting is just so, it's such an art. But I am 100%. I remember there was a long debate. I know I'm getting long winded here, but there was a long debate with Mark Jackson and um, Van, um, Van Gundy um, on TNT. And they were talking about, are you born with the ability to shoot or do you learn how to shoot? But then I'm, I, at first I thought, I was like, you know what? I'm a shooter. If y'all don't know, like I said, if anybody actually knows my real name, you know, knows my stats, see my high school stuff, whatever, you see that I was a shooter. I was a hell of a shooter. I actually was in a three-point shooting contest and I lost to JJ Reddick a three-point shooting contest um, i finished second um and um you know he was from virginia and i was obviously i'm from north carolina um and he was playing against um the, the top uh, virginia players versus the top um senior um north carolina players and um i could shoot it and my um i always thought i was i learned how to shoot because i just practiced a lot right that's what i always thought and then my dad told me he was like well you know your mother was really good basketball player. And I knew my mom was a great basketball player and she was a hell of a player. She was one, of, she was the top player in the state when she graduated. And um, she um, she was a hell of a shooter, my dad said. I was like, what? My, but mom played down low. She's like, well, she could shoot. And she was, my dad was, I always thought, when I always thought when you were shooting, it's like, you know, you get that from your mother. And I was like, dad, you really think shooting is something that's genetic, right? But then you look at 
then you look at Dale Curry, you look at his two kids, and you're like, damn, like, mm, well, I mean, he shot, and, and now they can shoot. So to me, I'm a believer now. I'm not going to lie. I'm a believer 100% that shooting is definitely genetic. Um, and that's why I just think it's going to take a very special, like Steph Curry's um, daughter might be the, the next best shooter. Right? How about that? Like, that's what I'm believing. I'm believing. But yeah, let's go ahead and comment in the chat, man. Comment in the chat. What do you think? Do you think shooting, all right, is that something that you just have to practice and work hard with? Which is true. There's a lot of people that practice and have to practice. Steph had to practice, right? Right? It's almost like what came first, the chicken or the egg? Because it's, it's really a difficult one. But I just want to know, out of curiosity, what do you think? Who's is shooting? Is shooting something that you're born with, or do you have to practice really, really hard to become a great shooter? Right? So let's do that. All right. So anyway, back to this. You want to max out everything here, and then I'm actually gonna get my post hooks to 61. Why am I doing that? Because I want 10 finishing badges. So can can Steph Curry do post hooks? Hell no. Right? Does he have a standing dunk? No. But I'm gonna go ahead and get 10 shooting badges. I mean, 10 finishing badges. Excuse me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him 10 shooting badges. Then of course you know you gotta max all this out to get to uh, maximize your um, potential for shooting. And then here you wanna max out your ball handling. Then from your post, believe it or not, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna drop it just a little bit lower. I wanna make sure I got this right. Let me look at my phone, make sure I had this right. Um, yeah, so it's 66, all right? And the reason being is because, as you can see, you can get 23 if you max it out, but I'm going 66 here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sacrifice one badge right because i'm going to go ahead and give him lateral quickness all right i'm gonna give him 60 perimeter defense and then i'm going to give him 60 steel right now what i well all what you could do like i said he does have 75 lateral so then like i said you can also go here and get 73 and then with the rest here and be 47 it doesn't really matter actually i like this better because um he does have a 75 perimeter defense so you can actually get close to similar to that all right now, before I start talking about shooting attributes, you want to go solid. You want to go 6'3". That's Steph Curry. He's 6'3". You want to go 190 because that's what Steph Curry is. He's 190. Shorten the wingspan all the way down. And now you're going to have 88 mid-range, an 88 three-point shot, <clears throat> a 91 ball handling, which is dope, an 88 pass accuracy, all right, which is extremely good, all right? Um, sorry about that. I, I always, every, it's like every single time I, sh I start doing these videos, man, I get spammed with text messages, phone calls. People want to invite the party chats. People want me to play. Like, I need to be offline. That's what I need to do. But anyway, so um, like I was saying, so you, you're actually really, really close to what Steph Curry is. You can dribble and you can shoot lights out, right? You're going to have enough finishing badges to finish at the basket. And your defense reflects exactly what it is. He has one defense. Yes, two defensive badges. Um, his defense was not good. His perimeter defense is only 75. His outer quickness, I, I didn't see that, whatever. But that's the only highest we can go anyway, so it doesn't matter. But this is what we're going to go with, all right? <clears throat> now, when it comes to this, Steph Curry is literally all four of these all in one. We all know that, right? Um, that's just what it is. But to me, the best badge to have is a spot-up shooter. Is he a spot-up shooter? Hell no, right? Is he more of a shot creator? Yes, but... To me, I'm going to go with spot-up shooter just because I just want to be able to have that range from shooting from deep because that's what Steph can do, and that's what we're going to do, all right? So let's go ahead and do that, all right? Now, as you can see, it says offensive threat, but like I said, it says similar to Steve Mass, Trey Young, and Damian Litter, which is all dope. The thing is this. When I made this build a while ago, right, it said similar to Steph Curry, but now it's not going to say Steph Curry because he's hurt and his attributes is all jacked up. So any injured player, superstar, they're not going to be similar to if their attributes aren't matching to what the current player is. I'm not going to make his three-point shot at 89. I'm not doing that. So let's go ahead and test out the build. All right. So, of course, you want to make Steph Curry or you want to get Steph Curry to 99. All right. And then here from the finishing badges, <clears throat> of course, you want to get contact finisher. That's something that's extremely important. I think you want to go with Giant Slayer. That's another one that's extremely important. Then from your last two, all right, go Acrobat, all right? Because like I said, he had a lot of badges. He had a lot. He had Acrobat. He had Pro Touch. Um, he had Relentless. He had Cross Speed Score. He had Slithery Finisher. He had Fancy Footwork. He had Teardrop. He had it all. Steph does a lot of Teardrops. And um, I would love to be an expert in Teardrops. I just don't do them, so I'm not going to give it to him, right? So I'm going to go with Fancy Footwork and all right, Acrobat. But these three, this one right here, Giant Slayer and um, Contact Finisher, huge. If you want to go this way, you can. Or if you want to go here and here, you can. Um, but again, it's your build. You can do it any way you want. Um, but I know Steph Curry definitely goes to the rack, and, and these attributes, these badges will be perfect for him, right? Of course, here you have to go Range Extender. 
I mean, I'm, I'm a Ranger Stand. Quick Draw Hall of Fame. You definitely want to go Ranger Extender Hall of Fame, right? You want to go Dead Eye Hall of Fame. You want to go Volume Shooter Hall of Fame. You want to go Green Machine Hall of Fame, all right? I, I just think that those are all badges that you need to have with Steph Curry. Of course, he's a catch-and-shoot shooter, but when you run into point, are you really going to be doing catch-and-shooting? Right? You're really not. I mean, that's just something that you're not going to be doing. You're going to be the primary ball handler. You're going to be cooking up, throwing up threes, working off the screen, blah, blah, blah. So you don't need catch and shoot, right? We're trying to make the best Steph Curry ever. Can Steph Curry, is he, does he have Green Machine Hall of Fame? Heck yeah, he should, right? Is he a volume shooter? Hell yeah, he is. Can he can he shoot from anywhere close? Of course. Can he hit it if you're in your face? Yes. Now, the last one would be Hot Zone, right? But Hot Zone, I don't, if they claim on this last patch nine that Hot Zone's fixed, so we're going to find out about that if it's fixed because um, that was probably one of the most depressing things ever. Just realize that Hot Zone is one of the most overpowered badges and we cannot even utilize it because why? Because it's just not, the hot spots are all messed up, right? So hopefully patch nine fix that. But um, this is what I'm thinking is best for um, Steph Curry. Of course, it's your build. You can do it any way you want. Um, but uh, of course, because difficult shots might be another one, but I just think that, would you really rather have difficult shots over Green Machine or Volume Shooter? Come on, man, really? I don't think so. I wouldn't, right? Now, here for playmaking, you know the, the first two you have to have are these two, right? You have to have these two. All right, handles for days, quick first step. Um, you definitely want to have Unpluckable and Silver. Unpluckable is a badge that uh, it just that does, it does, it just doesn't work. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Um, no matter what what you do, you're getting plucked, right? So I know a lot of my I know a lot of my friends, they don't even have Unpluckable on because they just they get plucked if they some bronze, silver, gold, Hall of Fame. No matter what, it'd be a point guard like this one with no pickpocket, with no defensive badges, with 40 steel, and they will pluck you repeatedly. So it's one of those things that a lot of people don't even use. Just like stop and go. That's another one you should not use. Steph had basically every single one of these badges. But what I'm going to do is this. We're going to go ahead and get Anchor Breaker on gold. Anchor Breaker is not something that's really high. Um, it doesn't really work that much, but we're going to still do that. We're going to go ahead and get tight handles on gold also. <clears throat> of course, you need to have Dimer on Hall of Fame to help out your teammates. The last one comes down to me would be either between floor general or space creator and of course me I'm going with space creator this to be able to create those spaces with the hot steps That's what I mean Steph can do it all And I think this would be perfect as far as symbolizing what a true Steph Curry build is all right, so that's what I'm gonna go with And then last but not least he had lightning reflexes and he had um, Interceptor me, I just say, hey, just go with clamps. Just call it a day. There ain't much here to work with. You ain't gonna have much defensively to work with. But I will say this. This is probably one of the few offensive threats that you see that have this many um, finishing badges. And I think that that's what makes this build extremely unique. But it definitely reflects Steph Curry. Hopefully you enjoyed this video with my nephews and nieces. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed already, you always thought about subscribing, please go ahead and subscribe. This is the time. I guarantee you, no YouTuber is going to work harder than me. I am dropping videos every single day until I die. <laughs> until I die, man. Like, I'm literally going to drop videos every single day. You will not come to my channel and be like, yo, Uncle Demi didn't drop the video today. I'm working hard. This is what I do. All right, I'm going crazy on it. So hopefully you can back me on that and my, my, my work ethic and appreciate what I'm trying to do. But other than that, my nephews and nieces, this is the Steph Curry build. And I'll be back really, really soon with another banger. And you know, when I say I'll be back really, really soon, you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. <laughs> If he cut for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop off the top of no transformer. Man, we're ducking and dodging on the corner. Don't want to play with a beat like a mighty morpher. Tell myself to get rich and go help.